Hello everyone, I don't know my voice is clear enough or not because I'm recording this video using my phone's microphone. So hopefully the voice, whatever I'm saying is clear enough to understand. So a phone's microphone is never as good as an actual microphone. So let's talk about why I'm creating this video today. The reason is I want to talk about something new in the market. What is new? The new thing is an ORM which is called Drizzle ORM. So you guys may be thinking that why you are using Drizzle ORM instead of a Prisma because it is lighter than Prisma and it is faster than Prisma and it gives you 100% TypeScript support which is amazing okay so you don't have to worry about any TypeScript configuration or something else okay let's talk about how I can use this Drizzle ORM so the, I will use this Drizzle ORM with a Next.js application so first of all I have to create a Next.js application to do this I am I'm going to the official website of Next.js. So I'm writing Next.js 14 because I want to use the latest version of Next.js. So in order to install this, you have to copy this one and I'm creating a new folder. Inside this folder, I'm opening my comment prompt and here I am just pasting whatever I have copied. Okay. So they will ask you something. To select I'm going to select all of this in front of you just wait I think it will take some time yes they're telling me to name the my application so I'm naming it like new next chess and drizzle okay okay now I'm pressing enter then it is asking you that do you want to use TypeScript obviously then yes lint yeah, no problem and uh, tailwind uh, for now no okay or okay i'm pressing yes then would you like to use source no i don't want to use any source folder and yes i do want to use app directory and okay i'm keeping it default and yes it is installing i think it will take some time i'm just for now pausing this video after completing the installation i'll come back Yes, so finally installation is completed and now I'll go to the folder inside and I'll open my code editor. I'm going to use BS code. So I have to write code. Okay. It will be opening BS code and yes, it opened and now I want to test it out that it is working or not. To do this, I have to write um, npm run dev okay just i have to wait like a couple of seconds to open the application yes the app is ready now so i'm opening this with a browser hopefully we'll see the welcome screen of next yes yes it's showing us the welcome screen that means the app is running 100 percent fine so now what i'll do i'll remove everything whatever next js is providing us by default so i'm going to the page file then i'll remove everything Control a and delete Control a and delete and save then i'm going to global css file and remove everything except first three lines because i don't want to remove first three lines because uh, these are the basic configuration file of Tailwind says so can't remove those lines then if I open the browser right now you'll see some error because you haven't write anything inside the page file I have to write something at least so I'm writing RFC the basic things what the react needs to work fine so hopefully the error is gone yes the error is gone now so what I'll do I'll do I'll just configure the Drizzle ORM right now. So now go to the official website of Drizzle ORM and click the documentation. Then you'll see some options. Today, for this video, I'm going to use SQLite because I don't want to make this video very complicated. I want to make it simple, okay? So there are a few options you'll see for the SQLite version. Today, I'm going to use a better SQLite because it is a local file system so um, it will be very um, handy for everyone so this way i'm trying to use this configuration for this video okay first of all what i need to do is i have to install drizzle warren and the driver for sqlite 3 so i'm opening my text editor and opening the new terminal here new terminal then i'll paste whatever i have copied from their document enter now uh, i think it will take some time we should just wait 
drizzle ORM and drizzle kit are installed completely now what I'll do I'll create a new folder inside the root level of the application which is um, DB the name of the folder will be DB and inside this DB folder I'll create two files one will be index.ts because I'm using TypeScript and the one will be schema schema.ts because um, you can't use an ORM without creating a schema file now I need to follow their instruction to do this I'm going to their official website and copying those lines then I'll paste those inside the file I created which is index.ts okay so one thing they are not giving us by default which is better better SQLite 3 database which is I'm adding here because I need this one and another thing I'll do is I have to export this DB okay because I will not be using or I will not be querying anything inside those index.ts file I'll be using those configuration to another file so this is why I need to export this after exporting uh, as it is a TypeScript file I have to declare the type better okay better SQLite 3 database okay this one now I'm going to schema.ts file then I'll create a table so let's create a table export so const the name of the table will be person okay so I'm using SQLite SQLite table and the name of the table is person then so now we have to provide so how many rows do you want to create the names of the rows first row is id which is an integer so let's write integer integer and the name of the field is id then the second field will be username which is a text field and name will be username as well okay then the user country co or event your country which is text field as well user country now to solve those red errors I have to import everything it requires so first of all I'm going to quick fix and import SQLite table then I have to import this integer okay then I have to import this text okay the errors are gone in order to check your configuration is okay or not first of all you have to create a database file which is SQLite DB so I'm creating this file inside my next JS application root level at the root level so the name is SQLite SQ SQLite dot DB then what I'll do I'll create the table manually so to do this I'm opening it with a software called SQLite studio after entering this software I have to create a table the name of the table I have to write there person then you have to create some columns first column will be ID and you know the type data type is integer remember then it will be a primary key okay then I'm creating another column which is called username remember the type of this uh, column is text okay then the third column will be user con co event country okay then the type of the uh, data will be text as well so I'm creating those three columns and I have to save it now okay I'm saving the file is saved okay 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 I will add some data inside this table as well so go to data and uh, uh, press plus button and ID first I'll be one then username will be like Mubashir a country will be Bangladesh okay so I have created one column and I'm saving this after saving this I'm going back to my code editor now go to the page file to check if your data exists inside the database or not so to do this I have to to check this I have to read the file so just const and the name 
a variable which will be dot uh, one or something it will be any type i don't care the type and um the function will be sync okay sync 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 then just write await await okay sorry await and uh, import the db here db just import this and select it so from from the table name sorry is our table our table is person okay or with capital letter person okay <clears throat> So now let's read the data we recently added to the table. So in order to do this, I'm just console log this one. So console log and uh, data one will be and go to the um, console and go. I'm going back to the browser as well. So browser refresh the page. Hopefully it will work fine. It is loading. It seems like it is loading forever. So what I'll do, I'll just restart my application. So let's go to the application and uh, kill every process. And I'm going to the terminal again and just run the application again. So npm run dev, okay? So then I'm going to the browser again. Hopefully it will work fine now. Okay, one thing I forgot that I have to remove this line of code because I'm not doing anything here. I'm not reading any file inside this index.ts file. Okay, let's remove this one and save this file again. Hopefully, it will work fine now. So, go to the browser again. Okay, now go to the terminal and see the data is showing up there. So it doesn't matter how many data you are adding, every data will show here. Okay, so this is how you can configure the drizzle ORM with your next test application. So now insert some data. So to do this, I'm going to the documentation of their official website, and you'll see below their insert and just copy this line. This is how you have to insert. They are providing you the way so what i'll do i'll just um, uh, remove the select and add the insert and here you have to write the name of your table my table name is person okay i'm writing here so what i'll do is just um, add some data so i'm copying the this one and pasting here and and change the name washit to tanvir okay now save it and hopefully it is added to the database oh i see some error here because the id is one i have to change the id and now i'm saving it hopefully it will work fine and it is working fine now so go to the database to check if the new data is added or not okay to do this i'm just pressing ctrl z okay Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. Okay, now let's read the data again. Hopefully, yes. You guys can see the data is added successfully. So, this is how we can work with your Drizzle ORM with your Next.js application. Hopefully, you guys get the idea how you can use Drizzle ORM with Next.js application. So, thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you. Take care.